Hey everyone, Cody from Mac Telecom Networks. In my last video, we took a look at the UDB switch, which is a very interesting switch. So if you haven't seen that video, it will be somewhere here on screen or in the description below. In this video, we're gonna be taking a look at the UDB IoT, which is a very small, compact, little device that will connect any ethernet onto our wireless. If you work in an industrial warehouse, this will really benefit you. The UDB IoT comes in at $49 USD and the site is currently showing that it will be available in December of 2025, but things can change. So let's go over to the side, take a closer look at the UDB IoT and then get it hooked up to the Unify Network application. And this is the Device Bridge IoT. It is a very small device. If I put a quarter on top of it, you'll be able to see just how small it is. On the front of the device, you can see that we have these little LED indicators, and this is gonna be for our mesh signal, and then this is a status light down at the bottom, we have the Ubiquiti logo. On the top of our device, we have our ethernet port, and this ethernet port is 10 by 100 megabits per second, so it's not for high throughput devices. And then we also have our antenna, which is covered by this little plastic grommet so that it keeps it safe. Pulling that off, we do have an external omnidirectional antenna, so all we need to do is screw that on to the device bridge IoT. The device bridge IoT uses Autolink to connect to our Unify network application using the 2.4 gigahertz. And if we turn it around, there's not much more on the back, but this is where our mounting would happen. And it does come with a couple different mounting options. So we have this plastic back where we could rip it off and it would be a sticky pad. We stick it to the wall and then put a couple screws in. There's also another sticky pad that comes with it. If you're using a DIN rail, you'll have to purchase one separately unless you already have one somewhere in your warehouse or in your network room. And then it comes with our standard screws and anchors and we have the mounting template with this little level on top. To power this up, we have two different options. We could either use USB-C or we could use four pin DC. We also have a reset button on this. So the next thing for me to do is to get this powered up we're gonna go back to my computer to get it on the network application. And I will show you these status lights just so you could see what they look like. And this is what the UDB IoT looks like with the status lights turned on. The UDB is powered up and it is now showing in my network application. We could see at the bottom that we need to adopt it. So that's what we're gonna do. It most likely will have some firmware updates and we wanna make sure that we're at the latest update. So we'll give this a couple minutes to see when it comes back online. The UDB IoT is fully upgraded and adopted into the Unify network application. At the top of the UDB IoT, we could see what it's meshing to, which is my downstairs access point, which is two floors below. We could see the strength, so it's at minus 66 dBm, and we could also click on port manager, which we'll do in a second. A lot of this other stuff is pretty generic, so we could see our TX retries, and then we could see all the model information, as well as the mesh parent, and we could see the signal, the TX rate, and the RX rate. Clicking on the settings wheel, we could give this a new name if we'd like, and then we have our antenna options. So we either have the built-in, which I'm not currently using, so we're gonna wanna hit the drop-down, and we're gonna wanna do Omni Antenna. Below that, we have our antenna gain, and we need to go over to system settings and put on the professional installer checkbox to be able to do that. I'm leaving everything at default for this video. We also have our uplink priority, so you could uplink the UDB IoT to any access point within your environment. Scrolling down, we have our IP settings. We could turn off the LEDs if we like, and then we have SNMP. Let's now take a look at the port manager and what we could do. We could see that we have a device connected. That is this computer that I am currently on, and we're going at fast ethernet. Clicking on the settings wheel, we have the port name. We could activate or we could disable the port, and then we could do our VLANs. I'm gonna leave it on the default, but you can put it on whatever VLAN or network that you would like. We'd also do our tag VLAN management, and then we could click on advanced, which is really just gonna give us a link speed, or it's gonna put us on an ethernet port profile. So we could set it to be uh, 10 megabits half duplex, 10 megabits full duplex, or 100 half or 100 full. I brought up the speed test application, so let's see what type of speeds we're getting with this. We're getting 31 down by 44 up, which I think is pretty good seeing as we're two floors apart. I did have an E7 access point in this room right beside the UDB IoT, and the max that I was getting was about 50 megabits per second download and at upload speed. But for most applications, that should be okay. And that's gonna be my video on the UDB IoT, and where do I think this will be useful? Well, I think in industrial factories, this will be great. So take a car manufacturer that stamps the steel for the cars. Well, maybe that machine needs to have internet connectivity. Instead of running cables to each one of those, 
you could just put in UDB IoT as they don't need that much bandwidth to run. We could also use this with printers, but one thing that we wouldn't want to do or can't do is with cameras as this doesn't have PoE on the bottom. If you want something to run cameras, you'd want to go with the normal device bridge as that does have a PoE out port. Let me know what you think about the UDP IoT down in the comments below. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. If you're new here, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. All right, thanks.